Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math assessment. Each week, we'll practice a specific question type. Now these questions, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And at the end of this episode, I will point you in the direction for some more in-depth videos if you're interested. The focus this week is, drum roll, equation editor. All right, world changers, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. Go ahead and pause the video first and try to solve it on your own. Then press play and come back to check your work. All right, welcome back. So this one says to find the product of 62 and 14. Okay, and again, we have an equation editor. So at the end, we'll input our answer into that equation editor box. But first, let's talk about what that word product means. What does it mean to find the product of something? Yeah, it means that we need to multiply to find the total. It's when we find the total when we multiply. Because we're tackling this standard right here, ma.4.nso.2.3, I'm going to use the standard algorithm to solve this problem. However, you could have used the area model or partial products, any strategy that you like to solve this one, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the way that I'm gonna do it, but it's okay if you did it a different way. What we're looking for is, did we arrive at the same product, the same total when we multiplied? Generally, when I'm using the standard algorithm, I'll place the larger number on top, which is 62, and multiplying that by 14, okay? So the first step is to multiply the digit four in the ones place times the 60 and the two. So the way that I do that is four times two is eight, and four times six is what? 24. So the 24 comes down because that's our last digit there in the tens place. And then I like to cross out, erase, and place a zero to show that we're moving over to multiplying the digit in the tens place. So cross out. If I had any regrouped numbers up there, I call them regroupies. I would erase those. And then finally, we will place a zero. Okay. So now we're multiplying the digit one, which is in the tens place. So one times two is what? Two or 10 times two is 20. And now one times the digit six, one times six is six, or 10 times 60 is 600, so 620 there. Now we're going to add those up. So eight plus zero is eight, four plus two is six, good. And two plus six is what? Eight. So our product, our total, when we multiplied, is 868. And that's the answer that we need to place over here. So I would tap the eight, the six, and then the eight again to input this answer. You might even be able to type it too, but just like that, okay? Feel free to pause the video or rewind to make any notes that you need to make. And then let's close out this Fast Math Freebie for the week. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you have got to put in the practice. You've got to throw down your best effort each and every time. And you know that I believe in you, and I'll see you next time, world changers.